What we'll be doing in the video is rounding up all of the Splatfest results in Splatoon 3. But before I get into that, make sure you are hitting that subscribe button if you are new to the channel. If you do enjoy the video, make sure you are hitting that thumbs up button. Now, I wasn't sure whether to include the results of the Splatfest World Premiere. But like what I did with a similar video I did make for all of the Splatfest results in the second game, which I will leave a link to in the description below i will include it in this video otherwise i will get people saying oh why didn't you include it so yeah the splatfest world premiere was between rock paper and scissors with rock taking the victory it did win the most votes and also won more open battles so yeah the first real splatfest was between gear grub and fun conch shells came into play with this splatfest because obviously we did have the actual game rather than with the splatfest world premiere we didn't have the actual game then so yeah with this splatfest you could help your team by pretty much playing in multiplayer getting conch shells it didn't help fun though because they did get the most conch shells but gear did end up winning that splatfest so yeah what was quite odd is we didn't get a splatfest in October 2022 the next one we did get was Pokemon related it was promoting Pokemon Scarlet and Violet it was to do with starter Pokemon grass fire and water with water taking the victory it did get a clean sweep the next Splatfest in January 2023 was between spicy sweet and sour with sweet taking the victory in february 2023 we did get dark chocolate milk chocolate and white chocolate white chocolate got a clean sweep in april 2023 we did get nessie versus aliens versus bigfoot nessie did win in may 2023 we did get a legend of zelda splatfest to celebrate the release of tears of the kingdom it was between power, wisdom and courage. What was really cool about this Splatfest is that we did get special merch we could buy. We could buy Zelda t-shirts. This was also similar with the Pokemon Splatfest earlier on. We could get Pokemon Splatoon related t-shirts with that. And also with this Zelda Splatfest, we did get a special tricolor stage. Easily my favourite. But yeah, Power did get a clean sweep. It did take every single category. In July 2023, we did get Vanilla versus Strawberry versus Mint Chip. Vanilla did win. After that, we did get Money versus Fame versus Love. Money did win. In September 2023, to celebrate the year anniversary of Splatoon 3 coming out, we did get Shiva vs Fry vs Big Man in terms of who do you think would make the best leader. Shiva did win, it did spark a lot of controversy at the time. In October, we did get Zombie vs Skeleton vs Ghost. Ghost did win. November 2023 was the start of Split Splatfest, so pretty much in the West, we had a different Splatfest to people in Japan. So pretty much in the West, in November 2023, we did have Handshake versus Fist Bump and Hug. Handshake did win. Whilst in Japan, Obanyaki B, Kaiten Yaki, and Imagawa Yaki. Next up, we did get who would you like to spend the holidays with, your friends, family, or solo? Solo did take a clean sweep, which probably says a lot about the player base. February 2024 was a Northern Split Splatfest, so in the West, we had Friday versus Saturday versus Sunday in terms of what is the best day of the weekend. Friday did win, but let's be honest, it's not even part of the weekend. Well, it's not part of the weekend in my part of the world. Probably is a little bit controversial, but yeah, I wouldn't say Friday is part of the weekend, but it did win that Splatfest. Whilst in Japan, whipped cream beat red bean paste and custard. Yeah, pretty much did change up the results system. So pretty much leading up to this result, only one team would get so many points. But now with the new system, there is like a first, second and third system where you will get points even if you don't actually win that category. A lot of people were hoping this would allow Fry to win more Splatfest, but it didn't pan out that way for the first couple of Splatfest because Big Man did take them both. So the first one 
was between drums, guitar and keyboard. Keyboard did win. And yeah, the next one was between Baby Chicks, Little Bunnies and Bear Cubs. With Bear Cubs winning that Splatfest. March 2024 was another split Splatfest. In the West, we had drums, guitar and keyboard. Whilst in Japan, lightly salted B, consomme and salted seaweed. In May 2024, we did have same old versus Bucket List versus Save the Day. Bucket List did win that one. In July 2024, we did have Palace versus Theme Park versus Beach. Beach did win that one. In August 2024, we did have Bread versus Rice versus Pasta. Rice did win. So in total, including the Japanese results, Shiver did win 11 Splatfests. Fry did win 5 and Big Man did win 6. Last up is the Grand Festival. Team Past did win that one. Now that the Grand Festival results are in, Nintendo have confirmed that it will be the last new Splatfest in Splatoon 3, but we will be getting reruns of Splatoon, Frosty and Springfest and Summer Nights. So we will be getting Splatfest all the way up until July 2025. So pretty much what I will be doing is doing a follow-up video in July 2025 containing all of those results and I will pretty much stitch it on to the end of this video. So yeah, this is all of the results so far, but we will be getting more Splatfest starting with Splatterween in October, November time. So that is it with this video. Make sure you are subscribing on your way out. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. I will see you in more Grand Festival content on the channel.